today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion! This is standard. There is no better feeling in Magic than ripping your opponent's deck to tiny little pieces and making them watch you do it. No questions. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and where'd arena go? There it is. <laughs> Technical snafus. Blue Black Control. It was for the dramatic reveal. Blue Black Control is today's deck. And the idea is simple. Kill their stuff. Stay alive. And then shred their deck using effects that exile things out of their library. Like the end. Which once you exile target creature or planeswalker, search its great controller's graveyard hand in library for any number of cards with the same name as that permanent and exile them that player shuffles blah 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 then we also have deadly cover-up that's the new one the one from murders this is a board wipe combined with collecting evidence to shred their deck but there's an old school deck shredder here kotose the silent spider who also enters the battlefield and exiles cards out of the graveyard so using these cards you take the best cards out of their deck then using some other cards we steal blatantly from their deck with outrageous robbery and siphon insight why are we running only like one or two of these effects no questions it's actually probably the right number because you know this matchmaker you know what it does it pairs you up against somebody doing the same stuff and when somebody casts deadly cover up against us if we run four outrageous robberies and they take all four how are we gonna win the game smarty big brain huh so with a variety we just fire a multitude of little shots to play around ourselves <laughs> uh, speaking of those shots that we fire we also have a realm breaker and a jace the perfected mind to give us avenues to win the game we can also use restless reef as a win con more for the mill than the 4-4 but you never know and murex sometimes it gets toxic in here there are four path of perils and four deadly cover-ups to make absolute sure that boros is miserable as they should be and there's rafine's tower to cast the kicked cleaved rather path of peril i also really like confounding riddle for putting evidence in the graveyard to make sure you get to tear them up with the deadly cover-up it can also be a counter spell in some matchups the deck is a little all over the board lots of one ofs lots of fun ofs but lots and I mean lots of torture for the opponent. So let's thank our sponsors for making this torture possible. CoolStuffInc.com promo code CGB5 gets you a discount. Use that promo code. Also check out Covert Go Blue HQ for play mats. Yeah, there's play mats and tokens you can get shipped to your door. It's good stuff. Ultimate Guard. I only use Cortex sleeves and Katana sleeves. Double sleeved with their perfect fit, precise fit little inner sleeves they go together i mic punch i get so excited let's dive in let the nonsense begin on the play hand is just beautiful one jace opening hand easy all my lands enter tapped until turn three i'm sure that won't be punished oh my gosh it's a control now. oh yes oh yes indeed let's go Play your tap land. Tap land, tap land, tap land. Tap land, tap land. Oh my god, how long can it take you to play this land? All right, I was gonna play the Jace, but we drew the riddle. Does seem like they have a deduce. They do. It's okay that that long pause on turn two. That was just the oh, it's covert go blue. Let me check if they're streaming. You know, just because I'm curious about that particular fact. That's all that was. Not because I would do anything with that. All right, let's uh, go for Jace. It's all we've really got. We can get it back if they don't exile it, but they probably will. Oh, they don't exile it. Okay, Takanuma online. We 
You could also start Murixing. This is usually the Memory Deluge turn, which means next turn we could try to deadly cover up the Memory Deluge. They have a Field of Ruin. We might be able to get them to use it on a, Rizit, a Restless Reef. Let's hope they don't have a Memory Deluge here. That's way too early for that awesomeness. Yeah, they're reaching for it. Reach for it. Do it. Do it. Love that. Okay. Uh, let's just do this now. Here's the Jace. Could take their Field of Ruins. Honestly? Then Murex just kind of wins the game, right? If I take their Field of Ruins with the Deadly Cover-Up? They don't have many lands in hand, or they wouldn't play the Odawara. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just trying to hit your deck. It might think it's no big deal until I play this Murex. Oh, okay, I see. It's that kind of game. So they were holding priority there. I guess it could have been the Anchorage. Oh, now they go for the Deluge, huh? Ah, eh, they needed land. I wouldn't be surprised if they took two land. Protocol. We have a Murex up, the next turn we can play Jace and have Protocol to back it. Yeah, let's just uh, start cranking out the tokens. We have a lot of cards that are very good against them. Oh, they're missing the land drop, okay. We just haven't really drawn them because we have to have so much removal in our deck. But this is fine, we can chill. The fact that they didn't get two lands is, what else would they take, right? Probably a counter spell. Ooh, oh, opponent, careful. All right, I'm not going for the Jace while they're discarding the hand size and they can't flash back Deluge. I'm gonna wait until they can flash back Deluge. Otherwise, we'll just crank out the Murex tokens. Uh-huh. Don't know why they didn't do that on their turn. They might have hit a land. And they did hit a land. All right, still no flashback though. Not yet. They play Sunset Revelry. They have six cards in hand. I have six cards in hand. They have 19 life. I have 20. Do I have an underground river? I do not. Make another. Cut down is good for an anchorage, so we hold it. If they do if they block both, then a second revelry doesn't make two more creatures. If they block any, then the revelry doesn't make creatures. And that can matter. Come on, where's my outrageous robberies, siphon insight, realm breaker? Where's the, where's the hateful cards? This is their moment. This is their matchup. This is their time to shine. Our opponent has six. They're not good at threatening their uh, flashback, are they? Are you casting a spell? They march it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Please keep doing things like that. All right. Do we go for the Jace? Or do we give them the loot? I think we give them the loot. Them decking themselves is also a way we win this. 
So how many hard counters do you think they'll run? We saw one negate. At most, they probably have one more and four copies of No More Lies. That's about what you can fit in the current meta. One or two hard counters and four copies of No More Lies. That's how efficient you have to be. Their win cons? Jaces? Probably, which means one disruption protocol stops one Jace. It's gonna be tough. We can hope that they're on no Jaces and Wandering Emperor win cons, because there are a lot of those lists on MTGO. This looks like an MTGO list with the negate, but it's hard to say. There's our first Memory Deluge. That's a big deal. Another March. Uh-huh. So they're threatening the Deluge. Let's see if we can resolve this Jace. Actually, let's see if we can resolve our deluge and hit the land drop. Okay, they're responding with theirs, but then they only have one mana open. I could Jace them here. That's pretty risky tap out. The weird thing is you don't want to be the second Jace because their Jace can draw three cards. We missed the land. Oh, that's painful. Oh no, we missed the land? Yeah. Your hope is wasted. You cannot win. They're just gonna attack it with the anchorage. Your victory, all your hopes and dreams. Wow. Alright, they do run wandering emperors and Jaces. At least a Jace. But maybe Katose can get their Jaces. See how hard they hit me while I'm tapped out. This could be their big moment. They've got their own Myrix. We haven't drawn a Field of Ruin yet. We did mill one. They just pass. Did we see any other counter spells? I did not. One, two, three, four, five. This plays around and no more lies. Let's go. What you got? They got 14 cards in their deck. <laughs> Devious cover up. This plays into a no more lies, so I don't know if we can do it. But if we let that resolve, how many no more lies have we seen? Probably not nearly enough. I'm sure they have them. I'm 100% sure. They have like three no more lies in hand. If we use our protocol here, it's a disaster. They might no more lies this. We gotta get them out of their hand. As long as they don't have two, then the next protocol should be able to, dis to disrupt their cover up plan. Uh huh. They get a Jace, they don't have it here, but they can draw three. But then we might be able to the end of the Jace. So last time I tapped out, they had nothing. This time they've cast Memory Deluge and there's one Jace in their deck. But if they're running cover up, there might only be one Jace in their whole deck. Okay, two cutdowns, we can just pass here. Sure. Not a scary card. I've learned much during my travel. Do we try to the end it? Show you. They did shuffle one back in, right? And they shuffled two back in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See if they flash back a memory deluge. Oh, they activate a Murex. That'll do. Okay. Get lost their own wandering emperor. Okay. I'll be back. 
Not something we should have to care about. Unfortunately, now we're a mana short of disruption protocol in the Jace and pay for no more lies. Surrender your mind to Phyrexia's will. If they just want to draw three, not the end of the world. They're just going to go all in. I will iterate. Surrender. Typhon Insight could be a, ha a headache for him. We still have 16 cards. A really aggressive play. Did we lose our robbery? Because robbery could end the game on the spot. Oh, and the Realm Breaker. Yep, yep, yep. Lost all of our mill effects. I think there's still more. one more deadly cover-up that could get him. They only have three cards in hand. They're holding Sunset Revelry on top of their deck? On top of the deck? Okay. Sure. Do, you, do they have a Field of Ruin? They don't. I just plan to path them. At least that's how I think it's going to go down. Let's go for a Siphon Insight, see what we get. We know about the Sunset Revelry, at least. They can no more lies it. I would love for them to do that. Yep. Okay. Their liberal use of counter spells implies that both these cards are counter spells that are left in their hand. Uh, hmm. All right. Kill him. Yeah, they're thinking about whether or not to Devious cover up this. That's not close. But they might do it anyway. I think they just have the one Jace. I can't believe they didn't put the Negate back in their deck. That is a very weird counter for this spot. And I'm... I think we do this. We might lose if they have... It depends on this last card, right? But... I think this could be a knockout blow, potentially. But it's really weird of them to cast it the way they did. Why did I do that? <laughs> I could have just had three mana open. I forgot I was killing the Might with the path. Oh, I did it so they can't have one ones with Sunset. I'm big brain. Obviously. Never didn't have it. 15 versus 11. Untapped mana could be huge if they get the anchorage out of cutdown range. That's a knockout blow. Uh, opponent, you had 11 cards. You had a Restless Anchorage and you had a Murex. Giving up there is just a sign that you are weak. On the draw, but full of removal. Bring on the creature deck. I knew it. I knew it. Those sleeves, that Demir vibe. Most mono red player I've ever seen. We don't have a lot of life gain sources. It'll be important to find one. On the draw, we could just end up so low on life that we don't get to do anything. And even if we use all this removal effectively, we could still just die to mono red doing curving out. That is frustrating. Good play by the opponent, though. Uh, we will kill the adversary, take the three, and then we can spend this next turn on the Field of Ruin and the cut down. Whoa. Really? I think it's still right to use the field. They might be counting here on getting to use a Monstrous Rage on the chick. If they do that, they're going to regret it. Oh, okay. Just to play with fire? Yeah, we'll still kill the chick. I guess I should have let them resolve their scry first. Small misplay. Sequencing. Ooh, there's a Murex. Wincon unleashed.
They're coming to get you, Barbara. It's more of a zombie thing than a mite thing. So an untapped land could have threatened to block with the reef, but I still have the end. So I don't feel like I need to go there yet. Now we'll see if the opponent just draws 11 points of burn using help with scries from Play With Fire and the just blatantly, blatantly shuffler exploiting ability to draw three to four lightning strikes a game. Well, you know they didn't scry that to the top, so. Oopsie, another land. They're doing it. They're doing it. I hate being right all the time. But the end is only two mana. You don't see that every day. Now I just need a life gain source or a counter spell because the opponent just topped another land. Stick. I'm trying to figure out how I get how do I get the cards in the graveyard for the evidence so I can deadly cover up lightning strike and it might be cast path apparel and then deadly cover up which means blowing up my mites which is not okay and they're drawing the mountains they're giving me the chance but they've got stick and I think it's a monstrous rage I really do my prediction monstrous rage so we're not, we're tapping out. We're not afraid. Like, where the heck is my life gain though? All right, so two attacks. Nope, we're a damage short. If we attack with Reef and the tokens, we come up one point short over two turn clock. So we pass again. They're at eight, so it's a one turn clock with the Mites. They top deck four lands in a row. Get <laughs> mono red. Thank you. I appreciate you, Shuffler. You, you you scared me for a second. On the draw is the best place to be, really. Oh, I love it. I, I Priceless. Boros Sleeves. Boros Land. Can we find a Path of Peril? Ooh, do I keep a Jace? That's the thing. They've got the Boros Sleeves. If they are Go Wide Boros... This card is bad. If they are Jeskai Control, this card is essential. I'll go with the numbers. There's more Boros Convoke and Aggro-ish lists in the meta than Control. But if this is Aggro, it sure isn't acting like it. Cavern. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. I guess I'll just kill this now. They have the mana to convoke out that knight, but they named Vampire. So maybe we can counter a knight? Anyway, deadly cover up online. Let's see what we can get. We got Novice Inspector. Please have a knight, Aaron of Eos. Please do the convoking in your convoke deck. Yes, yes, Gleeful Demolition. Yes, very good card. Beautiful. Well done. Yep, do the thing. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. See, this is why you shouldn't be out here naming Vampire with your Cavern of Souls. You don't understand the consequences. That's not a path of peril. No recruiter, one time. Okay, no recruiter. Love that. We do have a Murex to overcome, so let's look for a Field of Ruin. Yep. Oh no, my creature. Path. We've got lands, Katose. Let's cover this up. Your creatures, they gone. And this card, I never want to see it again. All right, let's look around. They've got three recruiters? Three. 
Are you a maniac? What the hell? Somebody's uh, a little pressed for uncommon wild cards this afternoon. They'll they'll draw them when they need them though. It's fine. Boom! Warlayer's call off the top. I'd have made a Mirix token. This is what happens. So they have this on Vampire? They do. Hmm. I'll hold up the counter. Not that many Vampires. I think there was only one more in the whole deck. I'm not countering that. I have standards. Kotose? Play Invasion Tree. Hold up Protocol. Take three. Cast Deluge. What can we get out of their deck completely? The Demolitions? Not afraid of those. There's nothing that good, actually. Let's do it. Really? This can't be right. All right. I want to play four mana to Deluge. I can do three mana to Protocol. Casting the Realm Breaker is kind of a waste of time. But in the future, it makes mana great. And we can protocol and activate. No, we can't. No, we can't. Just pass. Yeah, draw that land. There's a cut down. There's a cover up. They don't want to bring it out till next turn, but there won't be a next turn for that little guy. Hand him over. How's their basics? They probably got plenty, right? We got three. Okay. Anim Pakal. Two. One more case. Not a lot of removal. You can play this because of the disruption protocol. We attack with this. They're going to use the Iganjo, Seed of the Empire. We attack with this. If it dies, it ends up back in their graveyard. Patience. We'll just start milling them. We don't need to attack them to win. No, we do not. Okay, now they have a cavern on human. Oh, I'll take this Murex. There's a field of ruin. Or is there human? That's their human. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go to work. <laughs> Last basic. No reason to attack. This runs into the Yaganjo, or this ends up in their graveyard when they can bring it out. Yes, draw more lands. You see, I have thickened your deck with lands. I've removed the goodies for myself. Here's somebody who can attack. Because it can't block. Oh, I am chilling right now. I don't know why they're still here. <laughs> they, they, I, I'm, they have stamina. More so than I would in these situations. Oh, Ninja. Easy name. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness. Give me, give me the end. Give me this. They have one more vampire. Let's blow up their cavern. Let's uh, also get up in their library with some insight. Oh, this card. Yeah, that's a good card. That's a good magic card. All right. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? We have no more basics. Eh. Do it anyway. Why did it tap both my Mirix? Because <laughs> it knows I want to flash back a memory deluge. That's why. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we're torturing this Boros deck until there's nothing left to torture. We also have a red-white source, so we can comfortably make the knights. 
and play the recruiter. And I'm still not giving you. I'm still not giving you a Katose. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving you the frontliner either. I'm rude. I'm a very, very rude magic player. You get nothing from me. There you go. Spend that Iganjo. So I can attack you now. Oh god, not the warden. Anything but the warden. Get out! Boros! Slapped! Defeated! Torn to pieces! They're decking shreds all over the game store. Beautiful. Today's Cool Kids Club member shout out, chosen at random, goes to Beefy Mouse. Beefy Mouse, thank you for being a member of the Cool Kids Club and supporting the channel. I hope you're enjoying early access to my videos, usually about 24 hours before everybody else. If you had early access to this one, I hope you carved them to pieces with it. So, uh, this is the deck for me. It went 3-0 today. I got to play three games. I won them all. The games were interesting. They were fun. You could feel the salt radiating from my opponent's monitor from wherever they are in the world. It was like a disturbance in the force. It was beautiful. And I'd play this deck all the way to Mythic and then some. For sure. Except I've got to make content. So I have to stop playing the deck now. You get to keep playing the deck now. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like comment, subscribe, and thank you for staying till the end. That really supports the channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want me to play next. I pretend that I don't read them. I do. But then I also pretend that I don't. It's a weird relationship. It's fine. We can have a weird relationship. It's good. You are cool. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of Covert Go Blue, and you can find all of his unique tokens and playmats at Covert Go Blue HQ. Take to the skies with CGB's Shark Token and Playmat, and his premium Dragon Rider Token and Playmat, or become the Apex Predator of your next game night with his Dinosaur Rider Playmat and Token. CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB is your place for all things Covert Go Blue. So check it out if you want to channel your inner one in best of one. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.